welcome to Stonk Insights. So this is my second sense cap here. It's going to be going up today. So we're excited about doing that. This is going to be going into my parents' house. So I got the sense cap in here. I got a 5.8 DVI antenna rack. My second one. So I'm going to be putting that up. Got a little short ladder just because of the location that it's going in. Got a handy bandy, handy dandy bag of tools with a 15, my second 15 foot LMR 400 cable. So yeah, we're going to be heading on site, hooking that up. Hopefully get everything, you know, synced up, out of relay, everything, you know, today. So I can look it up on Explorer by the end of the day. And hopefully this one, fingers crossed, you know, you can, can talk to mine here. Okay, so I'm still on site at the, you know, if you've seen the last video where I put the uh, sense cap or the antenna up on a roof. So I'm on site there. Uh, this is going somewhere else. And hopefully once I put this up, that this sense cap here can talk to this sense cap and I don't miss out on any rewards. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to Stonk Insights, your one-stop shop for stock and crypto analysis and discovery. As you've seen that clip that I just played before the video started, I'm excited about that, okay? I just put my second uh, helium miner up and it's been performing as we're gonna see in this video right here. But I know some of you aren't here for that. Some of you are here for the title, an earnings update, just like DVN Dragon. Earnings update, please. He posted that 23 hours ago. As you see, I just posted, you got it, buddy. So we're gonna get into that right away. All right, so we're here at the official Helium headquarters and here it is, bam. So those are, these are my earnings so far, okay? 8.15 Helium in about two months or so, okay? Obviously not anything great, nothing great at all, okay? But you know, it has been, been improving so far. And I have my second helium miner up, as you're seeing here. All the witnessing that you're seeing is from my second helium miner, which is incredible, okay? As you see in my, the last, I guess, earnings that I show, I, I don't have it up right now, but you see that my hard shadow puma, which is the proof of coverage, is being witnessed by my innocent metal mirror cat which is exactly what i was looking for we're gonna break that down even further okay so we've been here before i i've went over this before but i do want to get you know a little bit more detailed and give you like a basic example so you understand you know what i'm what i'm talking about before we get into the helium explorer okay so this is just talking about the rewards okay and we're just talking about the reward types so the first reward type is Proof of coverage ch challenger. And the description for that is rewarded to any hotspot that creates a valid proof of coverage challenge and submits the corresponding receipt to the blockchain. So what that basically means is any hotspot can submit a challenge to any other hotspot on the blockchain. So just let's use this as an example. A hotspot in Germany is sending me a challenge, okay? So it's challenging me and saying, I don't believe you're there. So you have to prove to me that you're there and, you know, improve it on the blockchain. Okay. So anyone can get a challenge. You can challenge, you know, any hotspot can challenge any other hotspot. And those rewards are automatic. Once you challenge a hotspot, you receive that reward. Okay. That's very important in this example that I'm, I'm talking about. Okay. Especially with the next two examples okay so you know when you issue a proof of challenge challenge you get that reward right away okay so the next one is a proof of challenge challenge g okay so it's the one that's being challenged so it, the description is awarded to any hotspot that transmits a proof of coverage packet after being targeted by the challenger okay i do want to go over this next reward type before I break that down, witnesses distributed to all hotspots that witness the beacon packet as part of a proof of coverage challenge. Okay, so a proof of coverage challenge G 
what they are saying is to the challenger, I'm here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beacon out a signal and someone is going to confirm that to prove to you that I'm right here. Okay. So let's just say that no one proves that that hotspot is there as in the case of, you know, a lone hotspot or a hotspot that's got a weak signal or is transmitting, you know, a different fr frequency in all those instances, they don't get witnessed. Okay. So what does that mean? So I told you in the first example, the proof of coverage challenger, they automatically get that reward once they issue that challenge. Okay. For the proof of coverage challenge G, the only way that they get their reward is if they are witnessed. Okay. So that's why I went over the witnesses. Okay. They, th that's distributed to all hot spots that witness a beacon. Okay. If your beacon is not witnessed, then you do not receive the proof of coverage challenge G reward. Okay. And conversely, no one, you know, witnesses it. So they don't receive that re reward as well. Okay. So the only person in that scenario that gets a reward is a proof of coverage challenger, which is the lowest reward scale. So you see how that works out. You have to be witness to receive a proof of coverage reward as a challenge G. And you, you know, the witnesses, you know, they get the rewards for witnessing that challenge E. Okay. So that's very, very important. You know, once we look into what we're about to look into like right now. Okay. So proof of coverage challenger, it can challenge anyone in the blockchain, anyone. Okay. Someone in China can, you know, challenge someone in Australia. But once that person in Australia is challenged, they send out a beacon. And that beacon has to be picked up, witnessed by another hotspot for both the proof of co coverage challenge E and the witness to re receive rewards. Okay. So that's why those two reward scales are higher. Okay. The proof of coverage challenge E is higher than the proof of coverage challenger. But the person that actually witnesses this challenge is, you know, getting the most rewards out of these three groups. Okay. So let's just go into explore and look at that very, you know, at a very closer distance. Okay. So this is my first hotspot miner. Okay. The harsh shadow pool. This is an update on the miner as well. Okay. I put it on the roof, like you seen in my last helium video, as you can see, I'm witnessing, or I'm sorry, you know, I'm beaconing with, you know, other hotspots just further along. Okay. If you, I, I guess I'm going to put this in the playlist so you guys, you know, see all my videos, you know, in, in order. So you can see, you know, how I started out and where, where I'm at now. But as you see here, I'm witnessing this, you know, or I'm beaconing with this hotspot that's all the way over here. And, you know, I got these close ones and I got this one here and there's other there's other hotspots that I beacon with as well, but I, it's just not shown on this specific chart right here. OK, but let's just go over here to the activity. So I'm under under beacons and activity on the Explorer. OK, so it's showing a scent beacon. I'm going to click on that. So Challenger. So this witty Heather Bobcat. I don't know where is that. It could be anywhere in the world, but they sent me a challenge. Okay, the harsh shadow pool. So, being the harsh shadow pool, I'm saying, okay, you're sending me a challenge. Well, I'm gonna beacon, and someone is gonna witness me to show that I am actually here in my location. Okay, and lo and behold, we have one hotspot that witnessed me being here. So let's click on the view transaction details. And once we click on that, you see that someone in New Jersey, Ho Ho Hoboken, if you're from Hoboken, New Jersey or New Jersey in general, leave a comment down <laughs> in the description below. But someone in New Jersey challenged me to see if I'm actually there or not or whatever the challenge consists of. And I beaconed out and I had one hotspot that actually witnessed that challenge. Okay. And that's the innocent metal meerkat. That's my second hotspot.
this is what we wanted this is exactly what i wanted you know i, I bought three sense cats specifically because i mean you, you see you know everything's kind of scattered away but i want to make sure that if i was beaconing out any type of signal that another hotspot was definitely going to be here okay so we have this other hotspot that's here this trendy raisin um raisin kangaroo and you know sometimes it does you, you see you know who, who's looking at so sometimes i do see it you know or sometimes it does witness me but sometimes it doesn't you know it's very very in inconsistent goes all offline all the time you see here if we look at the innocent metal meerkat okay so but let's talk about this a little bit this is it's only been up for six days okay i put it up on sunday <laughs> about four days of that was sinking even with me doing the turbo sync that's provided by SenseGap. now i may do a separate video on that i don't want to include that in this video but it is very very important leave a comment down below if you want me to make a video on how to turbo sync your SenseCap device very very useful i was able to get rewards while the SenseCap was still sinking it was incredible i wasn't able to witness and do you know all the things i'm doing now but i was able to still receive something so that's incredible and the thing about it is you know my first SenseCap, the harsh shadow puma it synced up in like 12 hours this one was on track to sync up for five days. So the blockchain is getting bigger. There's more hotspots on the blockchain. So it is taking longer to sync to the blockchain, okay? And I was just, I'm, I'm happy that they do have a turbo sync feature, but not a lot of people know about it. So if you want me to describe it, if you want me to show it, I still do have a third sense gap that I still got to put up. Leave that down in the comments down below. I'll go over with you guys, okay? But let's just click into this innocent metal mirror cat. Okay. All right. So we see here sent beacons, challenges, witnesses. The, these first three here is everything that I talked about. Okay. So let's click on the challenge. That's the first thing that I talked about. Someone from Long Beach, California, beacon mammoth emerald gorilla. And there was 18 witnesses for it. Okay. So. I was a challenger. The beaconer was Man Emerald Gorilla. There's 18 witnesses in this location in Long Beach, okay? So this is just a challenge. Like I said, a challenge can be issued from anywhere. I could have been challenging someone in Japan, Australia, Antarctica. You know, that can be you know, that can be sent to any other hotspot, okay? And it is, you know, the, one of the lowest reward scales is you know as far as the three that we're talking about so the next one is a sent beacon okay so that is someone sending me a challenge so let's just go into this some handsome white cow sent the innocent metal meerkat which is me a challenge okay so this handsome white cow said i don't believe you're there i'm gonna send you a challenge so i said I'm going to send on my beacon and I can prove to you that I'm very, I'm here right now. So let's view this transaction. What happened? This is exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So one in Houston, Texas, you know, sent the challenge, innocent metal meerkat sent up the beacon in the hotspot that I have here, my location with the antenna on the roof witnessed it. Okay. So I had double rewards. I had a reward from the proof of as a proof of coverage challengee and I have a reward as a witness of the proof of coverage challengee. You see how that works? If all these miners, you know, in this area were me and I was able to witness that proof of coverage challengee, I would receive rewards on every single miner. That is something that's very, very important to think about, okay? If you have a bunch of miners, you know, you, you might want to have them close together so they can all witness each other. You can maximize your rewards by doing that. All right, so we just went over a uh, challenger beacon, a challengee beacon, and now we're going to look at a witness beacon. So as we see here, witty Heather Bobcat 
sent the challenge to the Harsh Shadow Puma, which is here on site, okay? And the Harsh Shadow Puma, which is here on site, sent out a beacon, and there was only one witness to that beacon. And this is very important. I was, I was noticing that some sent beacons that I had from the Harsh Shadow Puma weren't being noticed, which I'm, I'm gonna go over real quickly after we go over this. But as we see here, it was witnessed by the innocent metal meerkat. So again, I got double rewards out of that one transaction. I was the proof of coverage challengee and I was the witness to that event. So I got the proof of coverage rewards and I received the, the witness rewards at the same time. All right, so we're back to the harsh shadow puma. You know, things have been looking good for the past couple of days, but let's just look at this here. There was a scent beacon, but you see this this eyeball here? Let me just see if I can get closer on that. Yep. This eyeball here, zero. That zero means that no one witnessed me sending out that beacon. So let's just take a closer look at this. So this is saying that I was challenged by the recumbent coal stork. Okay. The recumbent coal stork said, you are not there. And the harsh shadow form, which is here on site, said, I am here and I'm going to send out a beacon to prove that I'm here. But no one witnessed that beacon. So in essence, even though I sent out that beacon, I didn't receive any rewards. No one's received any rewards for witnessing that beacon. The only person that received rewards is a recumbent cold store, which again, this is the lowest reward scale out of all three things that we're talking about right now. Very, very important that you guys understand that because this is how the rewards work, okay? You, 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 you send out challenges, which are automatic rewards. You, you are the proof of coverage challenge G. So when you get challenged, you send out a beacon and you want that beacon to be seen by other witnesses. And that's the way that you receive awards as a proof of coverage challenge G. Now I'm sure someone else has probably broken it down to you. You know, I haven't seen a video about that. So leave a link down in the comments down below. If you have, you know, leave the name of the channel or whatnot to help other people out. You know, this isn't all about me. This is about, you know, everyone getting the best out of these helium rewards. All right. So since we're done with that, we're going to be talking about my third sense cat, my, I you know my thinking with that. Okay. So I put out this post, you know, uh, a day ago, I was in my feelings a little bit. So if you read this post, you know, don't grill me too hard, but you know, a lot of people seen it and you know, a lot of people commented on it. And it, it, I, I came to the conclusion that I am looking for my next antenna. Cause I don't have a, a I don't have an aftermarket antenna for my third sense cat. But for my next antenna, I am looking at HNT, HNTTenna.com, okay? Weird name, whatever. So this is a USA 915, so and it's between the 902 and the 928 megahertz, okay? So it has a range of where it's reading, you know, the US signal for low ra WAN antennas. It's 150 bucks, which is, very very expensive for a 3 dbi antenna but supposedly it is that good and i haven't done complete research on it so i haven't pulled the trigger so i will be still doing research it's a toss up between this and rockland and the mcgill antennas okay i really want a high quality antenna that i don't miss any proof of coverage any beacons i want people to see me and I want to see everyone with my next antenna purchase. All right. And that is the video for you guys. I know some of you were here in and out, you know, within the first few minutes, which is okay. That's the reason why I put that earnest updates right up front. The people that stuck along, thank you guys for sticking along for the ride. You know, hopefully this information was helpful for you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.